Hey love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, so I'm hoping the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload and it video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. Or if just even talking about the content of my video or about your spiritual gift, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're knowing me. And if you feel like you resonate with my video or enjoy what you heard, please give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's going to be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart by stopping by my channel and seeing what's up with me. And much love to you. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you as always. Thank you for the warm thoughts and the warm welcomes and the warm comments. It's just so appreciated. Thank you. So thank you, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And namaste, the love and blessings, the love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And today, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm listening to um it is so relaxing it makes me feel like i'm out on the beach and it's just like this cool breeze it's called uh relaxation relaxing music with gentle sounds of water and nature sounds so i'll be posting this link in the description box below so in case you like to you know meditate and stuff like that i love to put meditation music in my video so if this is your first time coming to my video uh coming to my channel i put a lot of meditation music in the background so it's just like you're getting a message out of it but you're leaving with a peaceful vibe that's going along with it right along with some love and positivity so and validations if you you know you must say but uh yes my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas i'm like i'm locking i said i'm like i'm like i'm liking i wasn't trying to say i'm liking i'm locking your subconscious i'm like your subconscious there are so many things that you know has presented itself to me and i know i need to do that like i tell y'all keep it real with y'all you know it's just when we're going through so many different things, um, there are so many things that we have probably suppressed that we have been through in our life. <clears throat> and um, we have experienced, it could be narcissistic abuse, it could be sexual abuse, emotional, mental, um, anything that left a scar. You know, um, and I find myself very sensitive about a lot of things, you know, when I see I just things it's just like i can be on youtube like i am always and um you know see animals that are hurt you know they're being mangled or whatever but, you know and i'll sit up here and cry my eyes out like gosh i wish i could help them you know and i tell my friends that too you know if i had the money to do stuff like that there are so many contributions that i would love to you know to do charities for you know um you know, helping the homeless, you know, helping the animals that are out on the street, finding them, you know, nice homes and stuff like that to be able to live in a, you know, in a better environment. So it's just like a lot of things that, you know, you suppress. It might have you to where you might act differently now because it's just like once we have gone through something and it has really jacked us up. You know, it makes you look at life a lot different. Sometimes it can wake us up and put us in a positive aspect like, dang, you know, I had to go through all this, but it made me appreciate life. It made me look at people a lot different. Um, or sometimes it can be a negative impact on our lives where it has, you know, like as for me, I have, you know, closed myself off in the world. Um, I don't get really interact on my social anti-social, you know, things like that, you know, um, but I step out, you know, I've been making little baby steps, like I was going to visit my daughter and my granddaughter yesterday, you know, because I heard good person, you know, spending time with somebody you love, somebody you care about, you know, so my other daughter, uh, she left to go out of town, so I went ahead and, you know, went to go visit my other daughter, my other, my other, other daughter, um, uh, 
she lives out of town, so I was just like, well, you know what, let me go see how they're doing, you know, go ahead and do that. And it's just like, sometimes we have to take that first step, you know, because it's like me and my daughter were kind of estranged because some things were going on in my situation, so it's, it's, it's kind of hard for her to handle, so, you know, I got to that point where, you know, I said, I'm not going to, you know, reach out. You know, I'm not going to do this. And then it was just like, you know, you're her mother. You can't you can't be that way because it's just like people have walked away from you your whole life. You know, you can't be that way. You know, even though that's, that's the thing that, you know, I, I do. You know, when things, you know, don't, if I don't see it going right or whatever, I just walk away. But it's just like, you know, you have a granddaughter now. You have, you know, you have a daughter that, you know, really needs you right now. So, you know, make that first step. You know, things will follow along the way. So when you um, leave things suppressed and, you know, they're bottled up inside, if you need somebody to talk to, police those things, you know, if you need to go see therapy, be able to do those. You know, but we have to heal from all the things that we've been through, you know, because it's just like you, you could be in an abusive relationship and it, it'll make you feel like you're not able to love again or you don't like the feelings of that feeling of being in love. It's like those weird feelings you don't understand. I Trust me, I know. <laughs> like you will run away from stuff like that real quick if you don't understand it or if you've just been through things that, you know, that you said that you would vow to never go through again. But it's like, you can't really, you know, um, you know, cut yourself off from saying that, okay, you don't want love. It's just like with the situation, I'm not trying to be double standard or be on both sides of the stick. Because I've said in my, my other videos, I choose to be alone. And it's not like, um, you know, um, I'm banishing love away, no, but it's just like if you know what you truly want in life and you're not seeing it with the person that might be coming across, or, you know, it could be just, you know, you're not, you're not vibing with them like that, so it's just like, you know, that's a different story, but if it's just like with you, you, you know, there's somebody that's trying to date you and you really got all that chemistry, but you just don't want to take that step, you know, that's a different thing, now that's a different thing. But um, it's just like you have to allow yourself to heal. You have to allow yourself to open up and be vulnerable at times. Because, I mean, there's many times y'all don't see me in my vulnerable moments where I will sit here and cry. But you got the point that I was, you know, I was trying to make. And that was my time on being vulnerable. There's times that you have to see me like this. If you're riding with me, then I want you to see me of those times. Because it's just we all have those moments. We really do. We have those moments. So I would love for you to see me when I'm happy. I don't want, want you to see me when I'm in a negative, pissed off mood. But I want you to see me when I'm opening up my heart to you. Knowing, you know, I cry when I see positive things that's going on. I cry when I see unjust things going on. But those are me opening up my, myself to the world to let you know. You know, yes, we have to be able to heal from the pain because there's times I won't lie. I, you know, I will. It'll mess with my sobriety real quick when I'm trying to heal with things because I don't want to have those feelings. You know, I just want them to be away. But I have to have those feelings. I have to go through that crying and that screaming and being angry because you know that um, things are gonna go on and. Um, just, it's just going to take one day at a time. So if you're dealing with things like that, unlock your subconscious. Um, understand the things that you went through. It's not a punishment or anything like that. Don't feel like God is ignoring you. But there are so many things that, you know, that we have to um, go through to be able to get that lesson and that blessing to get through that. You know, we'll have a different understanding in life. You know, there's times that we'll go through jacked up things that, you know, um, it can be because of the decisions we made or somebody did place upon us. But just know there's always a lesson out of every situation that we go through. And don't, you 
you know, don't hinder yourself into the things that you have been through. And I have to tell myself that every day. You know, it, it, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a process. With a situation like this, it is a process. And I'm getting through it. It's just every day, it, it's, it's a blessing. Every day that I'm able to breathe. You know, I'm breathing with my father. You know, I'm, you know, I'm sending love out. You know, the legacy going. So, I hope you were able to resonate with my video. Much love to you. I hope you keep me in your prayers as much as I'm keeping you in mine. Send out as much love and light as possible. And I hope you enjoyed your uh, weekend. And much love to you. Happy Memorial Day. Much love. Send out as much love and light as possible. And if you see somebody's freaking with seat down, go ahead and lace it up to the front because your freaking seat is down. Find something positive and embrace it to me. And know these things too shall pass. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Be responsible in everything you do. And I'll see you later. Peace. Much love and be wild.